happy video day guys Christina Brooke here today we're doing another five day challenge where I use one eyeshadow palette for five days straight no matter what the circumstance is in order for me to really understand it and give you guys the truth about it I'm gonna tell you guys the exact problems with it whether it's good whether it's bad whether it's just a beautiful thing and at the end of the day it's useless I will give you guys all the information that I can so for today's five-day challenge you guys chose this one so this is the Patrick Ta major dimension I actually read a few comments saying for me to do this one I also got a few DMS on Instagram saying hey try this one and I was like oh my god great idea I actually really like this palette. So when you guys wanted me to do it for a five day challenge, I thought, you know what? Let's do it. That should be a lot of fun. I was actually hoping that I didn't end up hating a palette that I really loved. <laughs> which you guys will find out more about as we get into this video. But yeah, if you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you maybe you would wanna hit the subscribe button. I've been doing these five day challenges. You guys have really been enjoying them and I like filming them. I can actually play with some makeup that has been sitting here that I, you know, don't use that often and really actually using it. So this has been really, really fun. Of course, if you guys wanna play along with me, I will announce to you guys what the next five day challenge eyeshadow palette will be, and then you guys can go ahead and pull it out and maybe use it for five days and leave your comments on how you felt about it down below. But yeah, let's not waste no more time. Let's go ahead and let's jump into day number one. So we are on day number one of my five day challenge. This time we are using Patrick Ta's Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. So I actually really like this palette. I'm eating chocolate, a whole thing of M&Ms. And I feel like a teenager, like just sitting here and popping my M&Ms while filming videos. And I am very excited to use this palette. I actually love this palette. I don't think I've done five straight days using it. So this is gonna be fun for me. Hopefully, hopefully I don't end up saying, wow, I don't really like this palette, but I think, I think I might like this at the end because I like it, so let's see. But today I wanna kinda do like a look that I love doing and I kinda know this look, so it's kinda cheating. Well, it's not cheating. You guys have, might not have ever seen this. So what I love to do is I'm gonna grab this cream right here. This is such a cool cream. So what I like about this palette, it's a mixture of textures. So you've got creams and you've got um, regular shadows and you've got glitters. So I'm gonna place this cream on the lid and I really like this formula. It's so easy to blend. So this is what I kind of like about this palette. Like if you wanna just use your fingers to do your makeup, this is like the palette that you could like use your fingers and like do an eye look. <laughs> because this cream just cream this cream blends out so well so i just kind of like throw it on like that <laughs> nothing super calculated then i will grab into a blending brush which i will use one of my blending brushes i am going to start listing all my brushes down below so i'm going to be listing all my favorite brushes that most of the time they're what i'm using because i kind of like have separated my favorite brushes into here so if you want to check a brush out that I've been using just look down below it's probably going to be there and I am using this time my Bristles Beauty E02 RL brush and I'm going to just go like this and blend this so what I'm doing with this is I'm kind of like blending out the edges and like making it softer so this actually goes from being like a creamy kind of consistency to turning into almost like a powder which is kind of cool I got a little bit down here. What's going on here, Christina? You're getting a little happy with that. Get my eraser. So just go like that, blend it. And then what I like to do is go over top with this shade, which is not, it doesn't look as deep, but on the lid, it's actually pretty deep. So because I have this sticky base kind of on, when I put this on, it's gonna actually look deeper. So you'll see, I'm gonna go like this and I'm just gonna place that. You see how deep that looks now? So it's kind of sticking, it's adhering to that base that I just put down. So it's gonna allow for that smoky effect to happen. So I'm gonna be a little bit more precise with the placement of this one because this I do want it to just kind of just be on the bottom. So for this I'm using a Refer 14. This is one of my favorite brushes from Refer. I have a few favorites but I like this one a lot because it really gets in there. And it's very defined, if you guys can see. Let's bring that mic a little closer. You guys hear me good? Hopefully you can hear me good. Okay. So this is going to be a very smoky look. 
today I don't have anything to do. I might film one video after this, but it's actually four o'clock in the afternoon right now. <laughs> it's actually super late for filming, but my mom was over today, so I couldn't film anything while she was here. We were just hanging out, so I'm doing it now. So I'm a little bit late, but I can't miss a day because if not, I won't be able to do my every single day uploads for you guys. So I'm gonna jump into a rougher 15. So this is my huge blending br brush that I love. I'm gonna grab this color. It's just like a tad lighter. Like we're going one more lighter and I'm just gonna kind of go on top of that cream again. And this is just gonna soften up the cream and then just kind of, kind of blend everything together. Okay, so look how cool and smoky that looks already. So now I'm going to, I'm searching for my favorite lower lash line brush. This one, Bristles Beauty P06RF. Yes, and I'm gonna grab it into the deep brown shade. Bring that on the lower lash line. Not all the way through, just halfway like that. So then I'm gonna grab it into another blending brush and this one's from Bristles as well and this is the EO3 DM. I'm gonna grab into this lighter shade and blend out the lower lash line. So look how cool and smoky that looks. Kind of went a little haywire here. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do for the smoky side. I'm gonna add a little bit of this glimmery, shimmery shade just in the center. I'm just adding a little tiny bit of brightness, not too much, just a little tiny bit. And that's what we've got going. So now what I'm gonna do is finish this off with some liner and mascara. And you guys will see how cool this looks at the end because I even know the lipstick color that I'm gonna put with it, which really, really completes this look. So I will be right back in one second. Okay, here we go, final look. And tell me this doesn't look cool. Like this is one of my favorite like go-to kind of looks every time I use this Patrick Ta palette. And I just feel like it's, it's very easy for me. Like I feel like I do this and I'm satisfied. <laughs> I think everybody has like those looks that they're like, okay, I do this and I'm satisfied and I have something in my face. What is it, a hair? And um, this is my do this and I'm satisfied look. So how I finished this off was this lip color. It's my favorite, like literally obsessed with this lip color. I always tell you guys about it, but I don't know if you guys really understand how beautiful it is. This is Harissa from By Beauty. Oh perfection of an orangey red. And then for the liner, I used Naya from Natasha Denona and I finished off the lips like that. I love this lip combo. Like this is like a go-to anytime I have brown on. Love this combination. And then I did macro blade on the top. I think it's all I use. I didn't put, I didn't put mascara on. <gasps> Oh my God, this is like such a fail. Hold on, I didn't put mascara on. I did this, oh my God. I, now I have mascara on. Maybe it's not a big deal to some people, but when I don't have mascara on, I almost feel like a different human. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell on camera, but let me tell you in person, there's a big difference between no mascara and mascara, especially when you have like brighter eye looks. But anyways, I am using Rare Beauty's mascara lately because I opened the tube and I love my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but I've been giving Rare Beauty a go and I've been actually really enjoying the mascara. And then on the lower lash line, I used my brown pencil from Natasha, the Macro Tech. So all that's gonna be linked down below as well as the lipstick color. And I am loving this look. This is like, this is perfection. I feel like this is the perfect night look, Christmas look, easy to go to a party look. Like it's just this, this to me is like a look. I love this look. But anyways, <laughs> maybe I'm boring, but this is my kind of style. But anyways, so now and tomorrow we're gonna play with some more looks. Let's see how much variety we can get out of this palette. My birthday actually comes this week. <gasps> so this is gonna be my birthday palette. Actually, I'm excited for that. This, could, this is a good birthday day palette. So I'm excited for that. All right, hey guys, day number two of my five day challenge for Patrick Ta. Hey, I am going to be taking some photos outside for a happy birthday post that I'm gonna post, which is funny. But yeah, I had to take some pictures of this really cute outfit that I got from Abercrombie. I'm gonna be taking some photos outside. I've got a few videos to film. Like because it's December and I've been doing the Christmas thing, I feel like I am just constantly filming. <laughs> Not much fun going on around here. So since I'm gonna be wearing something that's like sage, I think I can use any of these colors. So any, any of them will probably look good with like a sage outfit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with, hmm, 
Let's start off with this color all over the lid. Just kind of like to put something down. This is very close to my skin. My favorite blending brush, which is the Ruffer 15. Love this. So we're gonna go ahead and go into this color and put it all over the lid, just like that. And then what I wanna do is that since yeah, I think I could do like kind of like a darker reddish brown outer V. I think I'm going to do this color right here. Just dig into there. We're going to put that on the outer edge. This is a really pretty color because it's not really as brown. It's not really as red as it looks in the pan. It actually comes off a little bit more like a brown red. It's really, really pretty color. So I'm happy with this color. This is really nice. So we're gonna just go ahead and blend that onto that outer V. I'm gonna smoke it out. We're gonna do something a little smoky. And then maybe I'll put like a little bit of that glittery shade. I think I'm gonna do that. I like to do that V taper, but I will go back in and kind of perfect that. That V taper, I'll perfect it once I put down like a metallic. What I think I'm gonna do is, hmm, should I just put like a straight, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here, lighter metallic, I'm gonna put that in the inner portion. And then as I move my way towards the front, I'm gonna add that glitter. So this is kind of sheer, it has a lot of little glitters in it, if you guys can see. I'm gonna add this kind of like whitish color right here in the inner portion, just to brighten up stuff just a little bit. Then I'll kind of go over with that metallic one more time. I kind of want to brighten it up just a little bit. You see how that adds some brightness? Then I'll go back in with this one. This one almost looks sheer as you're putting it on, but it's mostly because of the lights. When I go outside, I actually see it a lot more. And then what I'm going to do is grab this really cool pinky metallic glitter and just like dab it on top. This is like a really nice glitter. I really like it. So I'm just going to like lightly lightly put it on top now i've got a blend again so i'm gonna grab a little bit more of this add this like i'm gonna start doing that tapering that i was saying like i want it to kind of look like it's going like a v like that so i'm gonna go this way and then this way so you're trying to create a v look not very harsh and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab this same brownish color here this one put it on the lower lash line tight lining it So we're gonna grab this brush with this one. It is an, um, a La Cruz brush or something like that. I have everything listed down below. So all my favorite brushes are listed down below in case you wanna know which ones I'm using. So I'm gonna just grab this one here, this lighter white, add that to the inner portion and the lower. Look how pretty, so that's a very subtle but yet a little bit exaggerated eyes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play with the liner. So I'm gonna make the liner bigger and then smoke out the lower lash line, which is gonna kind of make this a little bit more dramatic. Since I'm gonna be doing photography, I do want it to like stand out just a little bit more and we'll find a fun lip that kind of goes with the season. So I'll be right back and you guys will see the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look for day number two and I really like this look too. Like I'm telling you, I just have this thing with this palette. I just think it's so good. But I also think that it's like understated enough that just little accents just make it like so perfect. Some other palettes, it's like the palette needs to be like the star of the show. And this one is almost like it's a star, but it allows for your other products to stand out too. So I really love having different kinds of palettes. So. So how I finished off this look to create this really cool look, I think, is I ended up using my Natasha Denona Macro Blade. So this is my favorite. I mean, I just love the way it even feels in the hand. It feels cold and hard, and I don't know, there's something really amazing about this product. I want this in brown. I need it in brown. I was gonna do brown today, but I just said, no, I need this product. So I hope Natasha releases more colors of this next year, because it just needs to happen. So then I also used the Macro Tech, which is a brown liner on the lower lash line, and I smoked it. That's a way that you can kind of create some dimension to your look is smoking out the lower lash line. So you just place it on your lower lash line in the waterline and you could just, you know, some of it could come out a little bit. Then what you do is you get a small brush like this detail brush. This is the P0 
06 RF from Bristles Beauty. You just run it on your lower lash line just like this and that line that you created in the waterline, it starts to smudge and then it creates like that shadow. So that's the way that you create that shadow under the lower lash line. I love doing that. I don't like to just see that line in the lash line anymore. Like that's like very 90s, you know, like smudging it just looks a little bit more finished and I love doing that. So that's what I ended up doing. L'Oreal Lash Paradise on the eyes because yeah, I love the rare, the rare beauty one is good, but there's just nothing like L'Oreal. And then the lips. Ooh, the lips was fun. Lips is I use these three products. So this is Natasha Denona's Lala lipstick. So it's MB5. It's a really deep, like almost brown lip liner. So what I do with this is I line the lips and then I do like a gradient. Like I do like that and I gradient the lip. And then I went in with my new Bite Beauty lipstick in Tanini, which is like a really beautiful red. But putting this on top of this gradient, it just looks so cool together. And then with my finger, I just go like this and I blend it into the lip liner so that everything kind of blends. And then I topped it off with the Forget the Filler from Lawless, just like dabbed it down in the center, put my lips over it, and it kind of just makes everything blend into each other. So it makes the lip liner blend into the lipstick and it just kind of like smooths over the lips love this lip color oh my god i'm like really obsessed with it like it's a perfect christmas red lip i'm really excited about the lip i love the eyes i love that subtle glitter that it does and then that statement the blending is so good like i feel like i have a super blended out eye ah this is really really good i'm two for two two for two i'm super excited like i said this is gonna be my birthday palette so i'm gonna wear this on my birthday tomorrow so yeah i'm super excited i think it's like a beautiful palette to be able to wear on my birthday so let's go ahead and let's get into day number three all right so today is day number three of my five day challenge and i wanted to start the video off with my outfit because today is my birthday so this is my birthday outfit so these this is from abercrombie you guys are going to see a haul with this soon so i'm kind of like giving away the details but i got this just recently i love this top i really think i'm like obsessed with abercrombie and i also got these boot cut low rise jeans from abercrombie i got them in a bigger size than i usually get just because i wanted to be them to be comfortable because they have like no stretch and i think they're pretty good i'll keep them and yeah so this is my birthday outfit and look no sneakers, but close enough, they're flats. <laughs> I don't feel like wearing heels lately. But anyway, so this is my outfit, and then let's get into what you guys are here for, which is the eyes. So this is my eye look. Let me get into better light, but I did something really simple with the Patrick Ta, but let me grab it. Oh, let me show you my earrings. So these are my new earrings. I'm probably gonna show them to you guys in a what I got for my birthday and Black Friday haul, but I'm obsessed. Oh, top palette, and let's go into the bathroom. So there's better lighting in this bathroom for some reason. I think it's like a diffused light. So today's look is super simple. I'm gonna have a dinner and stuff, but nothing like major. So I didn't wanna do anything too much. So what I did was I grabbed this color right here and just blended it all over the top of the lid. And I actually tried smoking out with the cream. So I used the dark, actually, I used the lighter cream. I used the lighter cream and put that on the outer V and I smoked with it and it worked. It worked really good actually. Like after it dried down, it turns into like a powder and then you can like blend it better. And then I grabbed a little bit of like this whiter shade and put it in the inner portion just to lighten things up. Natasha Denona's Macro Tech, which is the brown liner. And I did like this really cool like light wing and I kind of like smoked it so that it would V. <laughs> and then I brought a little bit down the lower lash line and I have L'Oreal Lash Paradise on today. And my favorite lipstick lately, which is Harissa from Bite Beauty with a, um, what was it? Naya lip liner. So that's how we came up with today's look. And let me see if I can show you guys the eyes. They're pretty, I mean like they're kind of basic on camera, but in person they look really, really pretty. So three for three with this palette. I'm really liking the looks. Today is casual Friday, but I'm dressed up a little bit more because it's my birthday. So anyway, so I am going to the office, a few things I need to get done, and then I'm gonna be going to my parents' house for my happy birthday dinner, and then that's basically it for today. <laughs> Super fun. That's it. I hope you guys like the look. So far, three for three. I'm really, really loving this and I can't wait to use it again. 
Hello there. So today is day number four of five day challenge. I did my makeup off camera because today I have a lot of filming to do. I have to do my Natasha Denona ranking video. I'm going to rank all of her eyeshadow palettes again for 2021. And then I might do a fashion haul. I'm not sure. <sighs> a lot of filming. So let me tell you guys what I did. I wanted to do my eyes today kind of like bridal makeup, like what I consider bridal makeup. Very pretty brown, light on the inside, kind of V-tapered. I did exaggerate it a little bit to make it a little bit more dramatic for camera. So what I did was I put this color right here all in the inner portion of the eye. I smoked out the outer V with this color, so I kind of put it in the V, tapered it up, blended it to the top, and then I just kind of like blended everything left with this color up on the top a little bit, down the center. I ran this color right here down the lower lash line and kind of smudged it out. I used the brown macro tech from Natasha Denona on the lower lash line. And then on the top, I used my, my black macro blade, which is the Natasha Denona liquid liner that I'm obsessed with. The lips today, I have the color Chai from Bite Beauty. You guys know I'm getting my use out of these lipsticks. I really, really love them. And on the lashes today, I'm wearing L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So that's how I came up with this look. I really, really like it. I really think this is another really pretty look. It just seems to me so far, we'll see tomorrow, but it just seems to me like so far that this is like one of those go-to, like you know you're gonna end up with a really pretty look that's going to match everything, that's gonna blend beautiful palette. I, like, I really don't think you can make mistakes with this one. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start my day of filming. Whew. I got a lot to do today. But anyways, I will see you guys in day number five, the last day of this five day challenge. All right, guys, we are on day number five of my five day challenge with Patrick Ta. So yesterday's look was a very minimal, easy, basic look for a basic, easy day. And today on our last day, we're going to vamp it up just a tad. So I kind of want to do something with this color. I kind of want to do something with that color. Maybe what we'll do is like a sunsetty looking eye. Let's see how sunsetty we can get with this. Or should I do it? No, let, yeah, let's do like a sunsetty looking eye. This Bristles Beauty EO 3DM brush. And I'm just going to get into this color. Let's put this down. I'm going to put it down like that. And then I'm gonna grab into my, um, my Refer 15. I'm gonna grab into this lighter color. Let's put it right on top. Okay, so that's what we've got going. Then I'm gonna get something very light and I'm gonna put it in the inner portion. So I'm gonna grab this one here. Really lighten up that inner portion of the eye as it goes into the darker. And then let's blend again with this shade or this shade, either one. They're both almost the same. One just has glitters in it. And then let's bring that brown on the lower lash line. I want to see what I'm... Okay, so now I want to grab this peachy toned metallic. Actually, this is like a glitter. And I just kind of want to dab that all over the lid. Just kind of like add it in different areas just to make the whole thing kind of glittery. I really like his glitters. They're so pretty. They add so much to a look. So, I mean, you could just put it on top of everything. The only thing is these two glitters are like almost the same color, to be honest. But it still looks so pretty. All right. So there we go. Let me go ahead and put some liner mascara. You'll see the whole look come together. And yeah. Let's see what happens at the end. And here is look number five. Another really pretty, very easy to wear look. This is another look that to me would be very simple for me to wear to so many different occasions. Night out, dinner party, anything. It matches with almost any wardrobe piece that I have, which is one of my um, priority things, especially when I don't know what color I'm going to wear. I like to do looks like this that I feel like I could throw on any color. I could throw on red. I could put on green. I could put on anything because brown matches so well with so many different colors. So anyways, really, really love the look. Everything blended beautifully. For my lips, I'm using Tamarind and it's this beautiful Bite Beauty lipstick. Oh, I love this color. Natasha Denona's lip liner in Natasha. 
That's how I came up with the lips. I have the brown macro tech liner on the top waterline as well as the lower lash line. And I used my Rare Beauty mascara again today, really liking that Rare Beauty. And that's how I came up with this eye look. So yeah, now that we've done our five days, it's time for me to get into some final thoughts. Okay guys, so that's it. We are done with the five days. So if you guys can see three days, I did really fun looks, a little bit more extravagant, a little bit more thought out. And then two days, I did more basic looks, everyday looks, easy to do looks, and I like this palette. The thing is guys, like this color story, no, it's not like something out of the norm. It's not like, oh my God, the most amazing color story ever. But Patrick Ta, he did a good thing here because he gave us like a boring basic palette and made it so beautiful and so amazing to use. A lot of brands, when they do these more neutral palettes, they just give you a neutral palette and some of the textures are a little off. Like you're wondering, why would they make that color a matte? Why would they make that a metallic? It's almost like they say, here's the basic color story, Produ produce it. Matte, metallic, metallic, matte. Okay, good to go, make it, right? Patrick Ta thought about this and he created a beautiful palette that I just feel works so beautiful. Like this is that palette that if you are a bride you wanna use on your wedding day, you wanna use it on your bridal shower, you wanna use it at the event that you're going to or every single day even because the eye looks are just so pretty. They blend so effortlessly and the colors are just, they work so well together being boring colors they still need to work good together and i feel like this palette accomplishes that i really love the creams in here what i love the most about them is they actually turn into like a powder after you put them on like you start blending them and they kind of turn into a powder they also serve as a really good base so if you want any of these colors to be darker you just put this down and then you pat the color on top and it actually makes it richer darker but it still blends so it's a really beautiful cream formula i also find it to be great to adhere these little sparkly metal, these little sparkly glittery shades on top of, I think that they work well. One complaint, these are too close in color. They literally look the same on the lid. I wish that maybe one of these would have been like a light tan and one of these would have been a deep brown. And I think that that would have given us a variety or it maybe even it could have been like a camel shade. It could have been even peach, whatever, something a little different. I think the shades were too close together, but that doesn't make me not want this palette. They are too close on my skin tone. When it comes to these mattes, perfect array of mattes. I think that these four basic matte shades just are perfect. The difference in hue between all four of these is perfection. If you wanna do an entirely matte look, you could just use four of these and they will look different on the lid. So gorgeous, blendable matte formula, like literally exquisite, okay? When it comes to these shadows here with the glitters in it, in reality, I do see little particles of glitter when I put it down. It's very pretty, but it's better to use your finger. Like if you actually want it to stay there and actually see the little glittery particles, after you blend it, you get your finger and you just dab it on top and you will see little tiny glitters. In reality, it's kind of just an extension of the mattes because they are so minimal with the glitters. So these two shades are kind of close in hue but the undertone is a little different. So when I use them, I kind of, so when I use them, I do see a difference. This one has a little bit more yellow in it. So it pulls more yellow when you put it on the lid and maybe I'm sensitive to yellow, but I see it, you know? So even though they're kind of close, I do see more yellow in this one. Now this one actually works really, really nice for inner corner work. Like if you want to brighten up this whole section of your eye, cause everything's going to be a dark brown. This is really good for that. And I love this shade. It's a perfect, almost like off white has the little glitters in it. But like I'm saying, the glitters kind of do fade away. So if you don't love the glitters, it's not like they're like there to stay. They're like very sporadic and it doesn't really bother me because they're so fine. If it didn't have glitter in it, maybe I would even like the shade more. When it comes to these two glitters, the same problem with the creams. They're too close in color. I feel like they literally look exactly the same. Yes, one has a little bit of a shift to a peach. The other one has a shift to a white. You cannot tell the difference. Like you really cannot tell the difference. Now I really like this formula, so I'm kind of okay with that. But I, but you know, in the future, next time that he does something like this, I would hope that these shades would be 
further apart or really have something different in them, right? This metallic here is a little bit more sheer. When you put it on the lid, it kind of gives you more of a sheer metallic effect and it does have like a peachy color to it. So on my skin tone, it kind of just looks like my skin with little sparkles. It's very pretty for day looks, but it's not gonna do a huge impact on top of your eye looks. Um, and then this one is also a beautiful metallic. This one's different from this formula. So this one's a little bit more sheer, whereas this one is like a straight metallic. I wanna see more of this formula. I would like to see this in more shades. I actually wish, I actually wish that maybe there was a golden shade in here or something champagne in this type of metallic. I think it would have been perfect for, maybe for the center sometimes. Maybe for the center, you wanna add a little bit of like a sparkle or something to add attention to the center, like a little spotlight. I feel like in here, there really is no spotlight shade. You know, you can go glitter, or you can go deeper metallics that kind of look like your skin tone. It doesn't do that spotlight effect that I like. So those are the things that are missing. Those are the things I like. This palette is definitely not perfect. It has flaws. It has duplicate shades that I think that they could have been a little bit more far apart. Formulas are good. Like I love the glitter floor. I love this glitter formula. It's so, so small and beautiful. You don't even feel it on your lids. You have no idea you have glitter on. Like it's just so beautiful and dainty. I love the mattes. They blend like a dream. These glittery mattes honestly give me one next time. I don't need two. But you guys can see for the most part, I really like the palette because the looks are just so beautiful. So yes, I feel like there's some duplicates. Yes, I feel like there's some that I think that could have been switched out for something a little different. But at the end of the day, the looks that I created with this palette are just so perfect, so pretty, so me, that I can see myself using this so much. But it's a really good everyday palette and I can see somebody hitting pan on this. Like it's that kind of palette. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I like this five day challenge. It just um, validated to me that I really like this palette and I need to use it more often. And doing all the different looks that I created with it, I feel more secure like even taking this on a trip with me. So let me know down below, what did you guys think? Did you enjoy using this palette? Did you guys have a similar experience? experience to me, leave me those comments and what palette do you guys want to do for the next five day challenge? Leave that down below. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.